In this video, we're going to look at frame by frame animation using GIMP and Caden Live. So, as we can see here in my file manager, I have prepared two slides one for the background and one for the foreground. Okay, so if I open up the background with uh, GIMP, the GNU image manipulation program, we will see that it is just a simple slide containing a catchphrase and a picture of Tuxa Penguin. Um, if we open up the foreground slide, we should see that this is an image of a magnifying glass that I just created from scratch with GIMP. Um, it has two layers, note the background and the actual magnifying glass. The background is actually just see-through. So, um, so I'm going to click on the magnifying glass layer. I'm going to do a control A to select everything, all. Then a control C to copy it into the paste buffer. Next I'm going to click back on my background layer and I'm going to do a control V to paste it in. So as you can see it's come in as a floating selection. And the way we make that a proper layer in GIMP is to click down here on the Create New Layer icon. So I'll just do that now. And I'm just going to rename this layer so we don't get confused. I'm just going to call it the foreground. Okay. Next, we need to move the foreground image, this magnifying glass, to its starting position in our animation. So I'm just going to click on it and drag it across and I am going to just center it over this L of Linux. Okay, so that's going to be our start position for the magnifying glass. So, what we're going to try and do is generate a series of frames with the magnifying glass in a slightly different position and then use Caden Live to play them back to us sufficiently quickly that it looks as if there is motion going on. So I'm going to save a copy and I'm going to call it frame 001 okay so I'm just going to put a simple sequence number on here so I know the order of these frames okay I'm going to save it as a JPEG you're going to have to put in your preferred quality settings I'm just going to save it at 75% quality so that will be our starting frame so next making sure I'm still on the move tool I'm going to drag the magnifying glass to its next position. Now don't drag it too far or the motion will look jerky. So uh, I'm just going to leave it there. I'm going to save this one off as frame 2. Okay, and we just continue on doing that. We drag the magnifying glass to its next position. Then we save that out as the next frame in the sequence. There we go, and we continue on doing that until we've reached our end position. Okay, so welcome back. And I'm about to save my last frame here. It's frame 13, so I'm just going to click on the Save button here. Again, go through the usual rigmarole. Quality settings. And we're done. So if we now click back in the File Manager down here, we can see we have a series of frames going all the way from one all the way up to our final frame 13 that we've just saved off. So what we now need to do is to pull all these frames into Caden Live and get Caden Live to animate them. So let's go and switch to Caden Live. I've got it already running here in this window here. And now all we need to do is import those frames that we've just created. So I click again on the add clip icon. Now there's a nice quick easy way of doing frame animation import in Caden Live and that's to click on the first frame of your animation and then check this import image sequence checkbox. Okay and then click on open and what that'll do is it'll pull in all the numbered frames matching the criteria of the first one you put in and we'll put them together frame by frame in a single clip. So we can see here it's come in as a single clip of 13 frames, each one consisting of one of those files that we created. So all we need to do is just drag it down and pop it in the timeline. So that looks a bit small there. Again, okay, we can zoom in and uh, 
have a better look. So we can see here in the time frame, it's actually 13 frames long. Here we go, in, this, in the counter here, we can see it's uh, 0, 5, 10 frames. And if I do a control home to go back to the beginning and press play, we can see the motion there. Obviously, it's all over pretty quickly um, with a single frame for a particular file. So I'll press it again, there we go. However, if by chance you want a little bit more control over the timing of, uh, of the animation, one other thing you can do is to bring those frames in separately in their separate files and then place them in the timeline where you want them and then you can adjust the timing exactly to uh, how you want it. So I'm just gonna get rid of that clip. This time I'm gonna press the add clip and I'm just gonna pull in everything from this directory. Okay. Okay, so in we come. This time it's brought in all the separate frames in new clip files. So I'm just going to take each file in turn, starting with frame one, and drag them where I want them into my timeline. So by the de default, Caden Live will bring it in as a five second clip, which is uh, rather long for an animation. So I'm just gonna resize it down to five frames long. So basically we're gonna slow the animation down by making each of these frames uh, take up actually five frames in the final animation. So again, I'll do that down. Just double click to get the actual size and you can adjust it to the uh, exact length that you want. And we keep on doing that until we've got all the frames in that we want. You can either double click and uh, size down with these arrow bars but if it's a particularly long clip like this, if you're gonna size down from five seconds to something like five frames, then um, it's easier just to use the, um, uh, the manual resize here and then double click to make the final uh, adjustment of frame or two. Okay, so uh, we'll leave me there adding my uh, separate frames and you can rejoin me once I've got all these frames in my timeline. And, uh, and we're done here. So if I expand this out, you can probably see the actual frame names, frame one all the way up to frame 13. So if I click in the timeline, do a control home to go back to the beginning and then hit the play button in the preview window, we should see the animation there. So that just gives you a little bit more control over the timing and the actual gaps between pictures going up on the screen. And um, that's another way that you can do animation with Caden Live.